Well, a local high school track and field team competed in a big championship last week, and they won. Ashley Williams Boop. is live celebrating the champions. <laughs> Yes, the champions 2022 undefeated undefeated boys and girls teams at Ponderosa High School, even last night in Stockton, taking home the section championships. Now, before we get to the coaches this morning, I have to, um, I think, recreate this awkward moment I had with a 17 year old track and field star. This is Lucas. Lucas, uh, do you want to rec recreate this moment? You know, Ashley, I'm pleased you asked me that. Um, I'd be more than glad to. Okay, so this is how it started. I was standing there having my coffee, and you asked me. Beautiful weather we're having, isn't it? And I said, it certainly is, but are you being sarcastic? You said. You know, I'm glad you asked me that. But that, does that prove how awkward that conversation might have might have been? You're amazing. Uh, but hey, listen, why do you love track and field as much as you do? You know, it's uh, it's good, like very therapeutic in my opinion. Uh, I've been doing this for about five years now, and uh, I think it was really something good to get into. Yeah, yeah, so cool. Thank you so much for recreating that awkward moment and making it that much more awkward. What really made it awkward is the fact that he said, I don't really care about the weather. It's just a great way to start a conversation. So there it is. Hey, listen, we want to show all the action here this morning. So let's start with you. Uh, you are one of the mini coaches, but I want to show off the uh, the hurdle, hurdle jumpers. Team. Yeah. Yes, the hurdle team's amazing. We have a young hurdle team. They have worked hard and they've been dedicated to their sport. And we have two freshmen actually moving on to masters this next week. That is so and we cool. are thrilled. That is so awesome. And we're going to move on then to the throwers. Throwers. Yeah. Ponderosa High School throwers. I've been a throwers coach for seven years now. Um, we bring it, we come in and we score big points, big points for this team. Yes. And that's what makes this team win is it's not just uh, hurdlers or pole vaulters, it's everybody that makes this team win. We're not just good at one thing, we're good at everything. I love that. Speaking yeah. of pole vaulters, we have somebody going right now, so let's check him out. Go for it, my friend. We do. This is Dylan Beebe up, and Dylan is actually going to be going at the Masters meet this next Friday, and he's been vaulting so well for us for four years. Really, I've um, been practicing his craft over and over and over. It's so exciting to watch them clear these amazing heights. Yeah, I mean, earlier he looks, he goes, I'm so tired. We've been making him, you know, pole vault all morning long. Um, and for you, you are all about the distance. The distance right? team, yes. Yeah. So we have some amazing distance runners out here running around the track right now doing some recovery intervals after their uh, winning performance last night. We've got two 3,200 school record holders uh, that wow. were broke this year, and uh, they're leading the pack out there for our recovery intervals. Love that. We have about 30 seconds left. I wanted to introduce you. Tell me your name again, sir. Frankie. This is Frankie. Frankie is the longest coach here at Ponderosa High School, 30 years, right? Yes, three My decades. Goodness, three decades. In fact, you were Karen's coach way back in the day. How does it make you feel, you know, to see the students now still so excited about this sport 30 years later? It's awesome. I mean, Karen's never lost, and she brought that back to Ponderosa, but never losing it. It took us a, a while because Union Mine took kids, and in gist, it's just all credited to Karen and the kids and how she coaches and does things. Yeah, obviously it starts from somewhere. I think it started with right. you, by the way. Hey, listen, we do have to wrap it up. Thank you to all the coaches and shout out to all the kiddos who not only um, obviously took home a big uh, section last night, but then an undefeated 2022 season. It takes a lot of dedication and a lot of dedication to wake up and be here so early in the morning after getting home at 11 p.m. last night. So thank you again to Ponderosa to High School. Congratulations. There you go. Also, uh -huh. my awkward moment with uh, Lucas fell yeah. flat. I'm, I'm thinking that just was like an awkward moment on I TV, mean, too. It, so it really I'm is aware. beautiful weather. I'm aware. That we're having. Uh, Ashley, I just heard from the producers. They said we have plenty of time if you want to try pole vaulting live on television. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Good idea. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Oh, I got you. I was kidding, but. Wait. You, I mean. <laughs> can I get as your pole? Can I have As pole? Nelly would say, unless you're going to do it. Take my pole. I got you. Oh, oh God. This is. Oh, really this is bad. a bad idea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth it. Thank you, Ashley.